Hi, I'm Megan with ICEV, and I wanted to help you get started on ICEV by showing you around. First, most teachers utilizing ICEV will send you a course code with a set of instructions to follow to enroll you in the course you will be working on in ICEV. Let's walk through these instructions to help get you set up. First, go ahead and copy the course code that appears on the instructions or that you have been given by your teacher. Now, go to login.icevonline.com slash register. Once you are on the registration page, you can enter the registration code for the course in the form. Next, go ahead and fill out the rest of the form. Be sure when you're creating your username and password that it is something you can remember or if your teacher has specified a specific username and password for you to use, follow those instructions. Once you've completed the form, click Submit. Once you click Submit, you will be taken to your My Courses page. This page will list all of the courses you are enrolled in. If you are in multiple classes where teachers are using ICEV, you can use your same username and password for each course. Just be sure after you have registered for the first course, you log in first, and then once you're on your My Courses page, click Add New Course. Then on the page that appears, all you have to do is enter the registration code for the other course, click Submit, and that course will be added to your My Courses page. Once you have all of the courses you need added, to go in and view the coursework which has been assigned to you, click on the view icon next to the course name you want to look at. A list of the lessons which have been assigned to you will appear. To go in and view the lesson, click the view lesson icon. Each ICEV lesson is either a PowerPoint presentation, video, or a combination of PowerPoint segments and video. To view the content of each lesson, click through the PowerPoint slides, or if it is a video, click on the play icon to begin viewing. Next, beneath the content viewing area are the printable and interactive headings. Beneath these headings is where you can locate any assignments which have been assigned to you. Also, if you're only seeing one of the headings, that is normal, don't worry. It just means your teacher has not assigned any of the options beneath one of the headings. If it is listed beneath the printable heading, it will be a PDF document which can be opened with instructions for completing the assignment. If it is listed beneath the interactive heading, these items can be completed on ICEV and once finished will automatically be graded. All of the interactive items will be laid out the same. For instance, you would just need to select the answers and then move to the next question or item. You also have the option to save your progress, which is important, especially when you're working from home. Once an interactive item is complete, click on Finished. And then if you're really sure you want to submit it, go ahead and click that too. Once submitted, it will be graded for your teacher. Your teacher may have additional instructions related to the number of times you can complete an interactive activity or assessment, so be sure to follow those instructions. Also, depending on the settings your teacher has set, a summary may appear next to the items you have completed. If the summary appears, it will show you what you missed as well as the correct answer, and this can be a great tool for you to use when reviewing the material. To get back to the page which lists all the lessons, click on the name of the course in the breadcrumbs at the top of the page. Now, to log out of ICEV, just click the Log Out link at the top of the page. Once you're ready to log back into ICEV, just go to icevonline.com and at the top of the page, click Login. You will be taken to a login screen where you can enter your username and password. Then click the green Login icon. This will open up your My Courses page again where you can begin working on your lessons. I hope this has been helpful and gets you all started on the right foot with ICEV.